Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of a big, big, big college you can be. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed up to. That good ship to true was a bone to be true when the gales of November came early. Pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most with the crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of these new firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night, when the ship bells rang, could it be the north wind they did feel? Wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the rail. Every man knew, as the captain did too, T'was the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late, and the breakfast had to wait, When the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain, In the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck, saying, Fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m., my main hatchway caved in. He said, Fellas, it's been good to know you. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to an hour? The searchers all say they have made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up, or they might have capsized, they may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Heron rolls, Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are her sportsmen. And farther below, Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November, remember? In a 
musty old hall in Detroit they all prayed in a maritime sailor's cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the chip on down of the big lake they call Gitchagoon. Superior, they say, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. 